ಮಾಂಡುಕ್ಯಕಾರಿಕಾ ಗೌಡ ಪಾದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮಸತ್ಯಾನುಬೋಧೇನ ನ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ್ಯತೆ ಯದ ಅಮನಸ್ತಾಂ ತದಾಯಾತಿ ಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯ ಭಾವೆ ತದಗ್ರಹಂ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆತ್ಮಸತ್ಯಾನುಬೋಧೇನ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ನ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪಯತೆ ಯದ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಹೂ ಎವರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಎನಿ ಮೋ ನ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪಯತೆ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ಅಮನಸ್ತಂ ಅಮನಸ್ತಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ನೋ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಟು ನೋ ಮೈಂಡ್ ನೋ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾತ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಥ್ರೆಡ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೆಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈಬರ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಗೆಟ್ ರಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫೈಬರ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾತ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ವಿಕಲ್ಪ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಪ್ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಡ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಎನಿ ವನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅಮನಸ್ತಾಂ ತದಾಯಾತಿ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಮನ ನೋ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯ ಅಭಾವೆ ತದ್ ಅಗ್ರಹ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗ್ರಾಸ್ಪ್ there is no desire for anything there is nothing to mind alone is the reason why we want this and we want that but there is nothing indriyas exist but mind does not exist so indriyas don't have any control over you they can't tempt you any more and your buddhi is merged in the shanta atmani so all consciousness only operates through you it uses your buddhi it uses your indriyas your individual mind is no more an obstacle in the supreme conscious cons cosmic mind that alone operates now so this is the methodology so a mind which becomes no mind alone becomes that when one realizes brahman before that it doesn't become that so what are these intuitions and discoveries and amazings these were the times when your mind became no mind you see so difficult that mind becomes no mind no every day your mind becomes no mind first in deep sleep your mind becomes no mind you don't remember you are a man or a woman when you slept in deep sleep when you wake up only you realize you are so and so otherwise your mind has become no mind so it is natural for your mind to disappear in deep sleep other method of is when when somebody asks a question you have no answer about mind becomes no mind i don't know it's full blank it is like that mind does become no mind but when it becomes unconsciously when it becomes jadya nidra means because of your inertia and sleep that is not sadhana that is not spirituality when while you are fully awake and your mind is no mind that is what adhyatma sthiti is that is the purpose of this shloka that you take your mind and merge into buddhi take the buddhi and merge into the higher buddhi and after that you don't exist at all you don't exist only consciousness exists it operates through you become an instrument like a doll in the puppet in the hands of brahman suppose the puppet has his own mind can the puppeteer play it will do as it wants that's how you are just a puppet that's why you say tai 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 bamma you are only a dancing puppet the one who is making you dance is the brahman but now what happened unfortunately these puppets are not like those puppets these puppets are also having a little mind that is there in them and that comes in the way of the cosmic dance of brahman it obstructs it it interferes So remember all the time when you have suffered when you have failed when you have been dejected disappointed were the times when your petty mind came in the way of the cosmic mind and like a huge pipe can be blocked by a small stone and water can stop you know in bathroom taps some dust rust got inside the whole water tank is full no water is coming in the tap sun is there a small cloud comes in front of the sun everything becomes dark like that your small individual mind is so powerful why because it can go and hide the whole cosmic mind and interfere with the cosmic mind that's why sir remain surrendered what is your mind after all what you are taking so much ego about about your education your position your authority ma karu dhana jana yavana garbham don't be so arrogant about it you have nothing compared to the divine intelligence so surrender yourself to that great divine intelligence and let that divine intelligence operate through you vikaranda would say if ever anything good has happened by me it's because of the grace of my guru and anything that has gone wrong it is only because of my own faults look at his humility because he has understood what is what 
and those who are foolishly not understanding they only become arrogant and they suffer and in the process make others suffer that should not be the way is the idea of this shloka it's a very very important shloka of meditation and also more importantly it is very practical on a day to day basis from vyashti mo to samashti vyashti is this jiva gyanatmani samashti is the hiranyagarbha mahati atmani and from that to parameshti which is shanta atmani and if you operate as parameshti everything will be blissful if not there at least operate at samashti still the world will be better but please don't operate as vyashti that's where all the mahati vinashti in vyashti all dangers all destructions all ruin is because of individual egos and individual buddhis so you are in the senses that is called the gross body and indriya indra arthebya subtle body is the idea of your buddhi manas and then causal body is the idea of the mahati atmani the jivatma self and then further you go and expand yourself into the universal consciousness which is the paramatma this is one way of remembering another way of remembering is the virata same thing when you expand it to brahmanda because whatever is in the microcosm that is only the macrocosm they say so how is this principle applied there virata is like the gross form of the parabrahman hiranyagarbha is the buddhi form of the param brahman ishvara is the mahati form of the parabrahman and brahman itself is the shanta atmani one more way of looking at the same thing is jagruta avastha is your gross level body senses the sapna avastha is where the mind alone is operating sushupti avastha is only the buddhi jivatma buddhi is operating and beyond that is the turiya which is the shanta atmani or the highest of the consciousness operating you can think like that so this is the way you can imagine how cosmic the brahmanda is also into the in the pindanda whether you take it as the three avasthas or you take it as the three kind of bodies or you take as three parts of the creation that is virata hiranyagarbha and ishvara so you can see that there is a cosmic when hiranyagarbha was created virata was created ishvara was created there was a blueprint for the entire universe in that like a seed contains the entire information of the tree like that the very first act of cosmic creation from brahman to ishvara to hiranyagarbha to virata is the similar thing as coming from parmatma to jivatma to manabuddhi to indriya and indriyarthebya also in the same way you can think it is same as turiya and the sushupti and swapna and jagrata means in all times this blueprint of four is operating 3 plus 1 is always operating whether you are in sleeping state waking state dreaming state whether you are doing decision making whether you are just merging as the parmatman in all times and places this principle of 3 plus 1 is applicable next one is a very powerful proclamation swami vivekananda used this shloka any number of times and inspired tremendous youth the into this path of spirituality in the shloka is uttishtata jagrata प्राप्य वरान निबोधत क्षुर से धारा निशिता दुरत्यया दुर्गम पथस्तत कवयो वदंती यस द होल एसेंसेस ऑफ हॉट स्वामी विकरण द सेज वाज उत्तिष्ठता जागृता फर्स्ट ही सेड गेट अप अराइज एंड देन जागृता अवेक यू विल थिंक दिस इज समथिंग रॉन्ग बिकॉज़ जनरली फर्स्ट वी हैव टू बी अवेक देन वी विल अराइज फ्रॉम द बेड फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कम अवेक इज इट इट देन ओनली यू विल गेट आउट ऑफ द बेड why is he telling the other way around because he knows very well even if we are awake we don't get out of the bed we keep rolling in the bed next 5 10 15 20 minutes so he said first you get out of the bed then you become fully awake even half awake is okay get out of the bed get out of this lethargy is what vivekananda is saying or what am i saying uttishtata no more can you afford to sit coolly on this stuff now having learned this vedanta and this truth and the way to meditate upon it and merge yourself into the brahman you can't afford to waste even a single minute sitting here and doing nothing get up immediately when should we do i will do it tomorrow like one person who lent money to somebody and that person said when are you returning my money i will return it tomorrow so this fellow comes back the next day and says uh, you said that you will return the money to me where is my money he said i told you i will return it tomorrow so come tomorrow and then tomorrow never comes that's what they say because it always keeps postponing so don't postpone this postponement is a great curse in spiritual path postponement is tamas then and there is 
the path of spirituality. That's why Uttishtata, get up, don't sit anymore, don't waste any more time. Jagrata, come awake. Be aware of these scriptures, be aware of these truths. Don't ignore them. Don't take them lightly anymore that now you have learnt all these, don't be casual about it. That is Jagrata. Be fully awake and aware of the truths that are being told and how to do it, how not to do it. And Prapya Varan Nibodhata. Prapya Varan. Varan means the adorable one. Prapya means having attained that. Whom? Varan. The adorable teacher, Ascharya Vakta. Having found that Ascharya Vakta, Nibodhata, understand this truth completely. Don't go with half understanding, misunderstanding. Understand this truth completely, it is what Yama is saying. Uttishtata, first of all, don't be physically lazy, get up. Take to this path of spirituality. If you have to wake up early, wake up. If you have to eat less, eat less. If you have to cut down all your interactions, cut it down. If you have to withdraw from all other activities, withdraw. But don't you remain inert or don't you be filled with inertia anymore. It's over. That time is over. You did not know about this truth. You laced around, you wasted a lot of time. Now no more, Uttishtata, Jagrata. Become aware of this truth. How? By reading about it, Swadhyaya, Manana, Shravana, Nididhyasana, be aware, Jagrata. And Prapivaran Nibodhata, attain the feet of the Guru, because by alone, as I said yesterday, Deva Prasada and Tapa Prabhavat. Tapa Prabhavat is okay, you do out of tapas, that is the Uttishtata Jagrata. But Deva Prasada also has to happen. That is what is Prapivaran. Reach the feet of a Guru who can teach you this truth. Don't hesitate. This truth cannot be attained alone. It has to be. You can say, my Atma is my Guru, that is also fine. But don't sit down on it saying that I'll find a Guru when it's possible right now, I have no time, I have to go to office, do this, do that, I have nothing else. That is not the attitude anymore. That cannot be the attitude anymore. Nibodhata, understand it thoroughly, bodha. See, I told bodha is different from jnana. He didn't say prapya varana jnana. Bodhata means you have experienced it. Bodha means an experience. Jnana means knowledge. Bodha is the wisdom. When knowledge gets digested and becomes a part and parcel of you, it becomes your living experiential reality, that is called Bodha. And only a true Guru can give Bodha. Most of the Gurus can give Jnana. In fact, anybody tells us too much, we say, Nanaki Jnana kod beda pa. Nanaki Guru Don't give me Jnana, they say. Not that. This is Bodha. Bodha is one level subtler than Jnana. And how does this Bodha happen? Teaches, Guru teaches through your life situations. He won't teach you in a classroom. He will teach you in your day-to-day -day life when you are going through whatever ups and downs of life. Through them he teaches you. Theory happened in the classroom. Where is the practical, where is the laboratory of Vedanta? Your own life is the laboratory. That's where the practicals will happen. So that is what you have to understand. If you don't understand that, then you have not got the bodha, you have got only the jnana. But then you all know, na pravachanena labhya, na bhavna shrutena. So what is the use of jnana? Bodha has to happen. And bodha is possible only from a true master. He alone will create situations in your life in such a way that all these Vedanta will have no choice but to apply this Vedanta. And after applying it, you will come to know that this is true. Till then you will not. He will throw you into the water. After teaching you some few techniques, he will throw you into the water and tell now swim. He will create situations in your life. That is a true Guru. Other Gurus only transferring knowledge from here to there. But this Guru transforms. He pushes you into situations without your will also. To see to that, you will learn what is being told. Otherwise, Bodha will never happen to you. You will simply assume that you know and then Swayam Dira Panditam Manyamana. That is what will happen to you. And because it is going to be tough, because so far you have been lazing around. Somebody has not studied, never worked hard, give him a little work. Uh, it's a big burden. Too much work this is, because he never worked. Somebody who has never exercised, ask them to do ten push-ups, in five he will collapse. But somebody who has been doing push-ups, fifty also he can do. For him that's not a burden. So these people who have never put any effort, always been sleeping happily in the inertia, I am the body, I am the mind, I am the senses. This alone exists, that does not exist. These YOLO people, they cannot, they cannot do this. So when they get onto this path, what is this told? Durgam Pathas. 
tat kavayo vadanti the rishis have told kavaya means kavis or rishis because rishis were poets who have written all this poetry called vedanta vedas so they are called kavi also intelligent one is called kavi so those intelligent ones have told this path is very difficult durgam patha very difficult to travel on this and duratya or oh, extremely extremely difficult why because surasya dhara nishita it's like the sharpened edge of the razor not a blunt edge of the razor sharpened edge of the razor it means if you are not careful you will cut yourself so he is saying enter the path of vedanta because that is the ultimate without that you cannot become the happiest person you have to get this otherwise you will be swinging between happy and sorrow but to get on to this path it is as difficult as walking on the razor's edge now you would think why at the end of this whole katopanishad classes yama is being so you know is almost through cold water on all our enthusiasm uh, too difficult this path is not for everyone and things like that so is it for me or not am i going to cut myself or i will cross over all these questions may arise in you the idea is to make sure that you understand this path correctly understanding this path means what without having done enough mananam without having done enough didyasanam you think you want to attain it is not going to happen that is why your efforts should be so 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 focused and pointed you have seen rope walkers people who walk on a rope suppose that for a moment also that ladies or the boys gets distracted for a moment also he sees who people are watching me or not at their clapping or not or thinks about some problem or thinks about what money is going to earn balance will go and what will happen to that person it came straight falling down so walking on a rope itself is needs so much of your focus and attention and no scope for any laziness no scope for casual thinking no scope for any loose way of doing things it needs that complete focus and attention to walk on a rope itself it takes that much now think walking on a blade it means you will not cut yourself as long as you walk correctly that is the idea that your focus on this idea of realization should be so 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 thorough there is no second thoughts that whether i want it i don't want it maybe i don't want it maybe i want it nothing like that you have to have this focus that i only want this this is then achievable otherwise it is not achievable in fact what will happen halfway through you will get confused now as i said duvida mein dono gaye maya mili na ram you got into confusion whether i want world i want god and now that neither you got world nor you got god that is what will happen to you at the end so be clear rest will follow what is clarity i want god only world will come don't does not come it is none of my concern god only is my path any point of time if you are corner of the eye you look at the world that's it you'll cut yourself a oh, lot of these yogis people they have fallen from their bhrashta yogis because of this reason they started off with the great enthusiasm that we shall have this and nothing else but they were not ready yet they had not done this adhyatma yoga of slowly slowly withdrawing shanah shanai uparamet they did not do this they just jumped in one fine day you heard katopanishad tomorrow onwards i have to be yogi and day after i should be gyani it doesn't work like that it is it is a life's effort to gradually slowly correctly withdraw doing it wrong won't work suppose you are cooking some food just because you are in a hurry the food won't get cooked faster in fact if you in a hurry bari you put one ingredient after the other without waiting for the right time the whole dish will get spoiled that is what is saying that it is like the razor's edge because you can do mistakes here and you can hurt yourself like putting hormones in genetically modified food for the sake of extra production or pumping hormones into cows to get extra milk now they are trying to see how can we reduce the development of a human fetus from 9 months to maybe 9 weeks or something like that do you think it's going to happen something else will come out not a human but all kinds of things people are trying out why because there is no patience preyo marga instant everything instant gratification want more and more everything curs back to related relates it all to money and the success in society so this kind of thinking is like walking on a razor's edge some people have picked this idea that catch hold of the king you will get the kingdom so now why are they catching hold of the king 
because they want the kingdom. You think the king will give his hands into the hands of such people? They are praying, I want God. Why? Because they basically want world and without putting effort at how, how to get this world, catch hold of God. God you think is a fool, he knows much more than you. But people's idea is what? Get God so that you can get the world. That is not the idea. The world was never your criteria. World was never on your mind. You only wanted God and whatever comes out of it is fine, good, bad, whatever people think is fine. I just want God. Those who think like that, they alone should walk on this path. Anybody else who thinks any other way, for them it is as good as a razor's edge. I am warning you, says Yama. If you have this much doubt also that maybe you want the world also, then better not enter Vedanta is what Yama is telling. You will be confused, neither you will get the world nor God. You will be some confused, heartbroken, deranged, mentally disabled, this sannyasi in some part of the world. You will not get this, not get that. So be very clear, he says. So all those fellows who thought till now, yes, we will get this and also we will get that. Know for sure that you are not going to get both. You will get only one. If you pick God, pick God. That's it. That is the only. God is the only choice. Not God is one of the many choices. Somebody said, make God your priority. No priority. Priority means in the list there are many things and you have prioritized God over everything else. That is not the word to be used. God alone is my choice. Everything is, is not even in my scope of thinking. Whatever happens after that is God's wish. How does it matter to me? Whatever comes out of it is His wish. Draupadi's last choice was Krishna. First choice was Dharmaraja. Second choice was Kuru dynasty people. Third choice was herself, trying to protect herself. When nothing worked, then only Apad Bandava Krishna. But her ego did not allow her to ask for Krishna's help right in the beginning. That is what the problem with all of us. We want God and also all the world and when nothing comes to our hand, then God. Have God, that is all that matters at the end. All this world will become one big zero at the end. And then that is when you will realize, that's why this is deaf because the attachments to our ideas of life, body consciousness, mind consciousness, desires is so difficult to get rid of. That is Durgam Patha. Vedanta is not the Durgam Patha. Durgam Patha is the problem with your mind which is so attached that it cannot go. So it will swing this way, that way. How can you rope walk if your mind is distracted? That's why Nasamahitaha, Nashantaha, Nashantamanasaha, all this was told in the beginning only that, see, these are the conditions. If you are agreeable to these conditions, then you enter. Anywhere you go, now terms and conditions apply. These are the terms and conditions. What? Yama Evesha Vrunate. You ask only for me, nothing else. Two, because you want me, Nadhis Charito, Nashanto, Nasamahitaha, Nashantamanasa, all this you do. And then what? Slowly, slowly walk on this path. How? Yachet Vang Manasi, Pragnyas Tad Yachet Gyana Atmani, Gyana Atmani Mahatini Yachet, Tad Nichet Shanta Atmani. Slowly, slowly you walk on this path. If you hurry on this path, you will cut yourself. Slowly. With age, habits come. And with age, habits go also. In rainy seasons, clouds come. In summer season, they disappear. So with age, then what should you do? Curb. Curb how? Reduce the... I eat sweet every day. No. Now onwards I will eat sweet once in a week. Slowly I will eat sweet now fifteen days once. Now one month once. Now what? Two months once. Like that slowly, slowly, shanai, shanai. That is why it's saying Indriyartha, Indriya, Indriya to mind, mind to buddhi, buddhi to Mahati Atmani, Mahati Atmani to Shantatmani. It will take time. If you rush, you will cut your hand. If you don't rush, go slowly, carefully, without getting distracted you will definitely reach. That is the idea of Durgam Pathasthat Kavayo Vadante. But idea is that this is the most important shlokas. The Katopanishads, the crux is these last three, four shlokas. How to do this Adhyatma Yoga and how to merge in that ultimate realization of Supreme Consciousness which is Brahman. And you hurry in this path, you try to over think you are over smart, you will be done. Because this path is so, so, so very precarious. <laughs>